Marcos Cole, harmonica player from Spain, from the band Los Reyes del Cao. Okay, let's party a little, okay? I started playing harmonica when I was 14, yeah, I guess 14, 15, when I started thinking more about having fun than doing a sport or that kind of thing. So as I loved music since, since always. That time I used to love Elvis Presley, Chuck Berry, Little Richard. So I heard your mail, this room to move, and I say, what's that? that and that's how, when I was 14, or, I took up harmonica. <laughs> My uncle showed me a harmonic, I don't know, and I kind of like fell in love. From the, I was like, wow, you know, blues harp. It was like, I don't know, it, it shook me, you know, and you could carry it, you know, it was cheaper than a guitar, and it was like a kind of um, hard thing. <laughs> The first harmonica guy was a Hunter Blues harp, the old ones with the, with the nails. And, and I saw it, I was like, I gotta have it because it says blues. So it was like, I gotta have it. In Spain, I, I didn't have any and information from, from nothing. So it was like learning by, mis by doing mistakes. And, and at the beginning was hard, you know, because why, why this harmonica? I mean, this, this says blues hard, but it don't sound on this, because, uh, you know, so it, I, I was going crazy a little. I remember throwing harmonicas at the floor, like the, the bending, like, ah, you know, I was kind of impatient at the beginning. <laughs> I never learn a song like note by note, like, you know, I'm maybe too lazy for that, but uh, I was trying to, what I had in my head from the wah, 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 I, I, I tried to do the same, you know, but it didn't sound the same. <laughs> I started my band with, with Adrian, which is the, the guy we, we are still playing together. We did it for having fun. I never dreamed to, 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 to make any money or, or to be living out of that, but suddenly we started, we made the band, we started doing some, some gigs, and hey, do you, do you get paid, I give you money for this. So I was, that money I was, you know, uh, buying a, a couple of records or something. And then I was playing in the street once, and it came um, a now a really good friend of mine, and he said, hey, man, you play good. Um, I got a place, and you can play every day in my place, and I'm going to pay you this and that. So I said, oh, of course, yeah. I, I mean, so at, at the time, I didn't care too much about school or playing, playing sports or, you know, I was. We come from a town that parties number one. So I was into that, and music give you party. You like Michael Jackson? <laughs> no? I was already 17, so I start counting. OK, I can rent a room here and pay the food. So I can, and I said to my mother, hey, look, I'm, I, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. And my mother, she got this kind of humor. And she said, <laughs> what are you going to be? Armoniquero? In, in Spanish, harmonica player. And I would say, well, I don't know, I'll, I'll see what I'll do, you know. 
And then it, it went like, like a snowball. Then some other guys saw us playing there, gave us another, and it, it went like this. I never, my first idea was never to, to be a, a professional player, you know? Los Reyes del Cao, it means the knockout kings, because we used to play in uh, boxing events in, in Spain, and it was funny because they used to dress up like, dress us like boxers with boxing boots, this, and the, all the robe, and we had to play like one song be, between each fight, and we kept that name. <laughs> I'm a blues player mostly, even if we play, we can even play some even hip hop, but I'm blues, blues player. You know, in Spain we got the, the flamenco, the guitar, and I'm going to know it's not a popular instrument. <laughs> we are brothers, you know, I mean, soul brothers, and we had fights, but we're still together, I mean, and, and you know, that's something that I really feel lucky of, that, you know, I play with many other people. I really enjoy it because you learn something from everyone. But we are lucky that our project together went, went good enough to, to, to keep on doing it and to, to live out of that. So we are happy. It's like an old couple sometimes, you know. We've been playing 16 years together and sometimes it's like when you're on tour and... It's everything I know you, <laughs> but at the end, you know, we're brothers. Some other harmonica colleagues in Spain, many times they were laughing at me because they were saying, man, you got a harmonica in every color. You got one black, one, because I used to pick apart from one, take a, use, I mean, like really recycling, you know, but by need, not because I like this wood better and I can put it like custom, no, no, because that's the only wood. I take this from a marine band and, it, and okay, it works. The marine band deluxe, for me, it lasts really long. I mean, the honor people can tell you that I don't ask for, for too much harmonicas because they last and, and maybe I retune a little, but they really last long. I mean, I like all, all, all Honor harmonicas. I played also the, all the Special 20 before. I like them all, like with the chromatic also, I mean. I like music, I listen to music and you know, you can take a nice line from a guitar, or from a saxophone, or from, or from a vocalist, whatever. I mean, I think that's, you know, I don't, as I said, I'm lazy to copy a song note by note. <laughs> so I just try to play. Now in November is coming a new CD with Tino Gonzalez. He's a great guitar player from Chicago. And it's like a, half of the CD is his songs and half of the CD our songs. And yeah, in six months, I think we will do another Los Reyes del Caos CD.